My wife is from California. I'm, like I said, from the Midwest. I took her home actually to Chicago uh, for Christmas this year. She had never been a place where it snows before at Christmas. So I know you go to a place cold, you guys know. Uh, you bring a hat, you bring a big jacket, boots. Uh, she brought uh, mittens. <laughs> mittens. I think mittens are the worst invention in the history of the world. Aren't they? It's like, hey, you know what's better than 10 fingers? Four. <laughs> You're just a lobster for six months out of the year, aren't you? With claws, trying to claw at things. <laughs> trying to grab people like, hey, can you hold this? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I'm wearing mittens, are you familiar with them? They're, they're big and puffy and there's no sensitivity to what you're grabbing. Is it, is it breakable? I wouldn't give it to me, I wouldn't know. You're better off throwing it on the floor yourself. Mittens are so useless that you can't even use a mitten to take off a mitten. You ever see people struggle for a couple minutes trying to take off a mitten and they go. You have to eat a mitten when you're through using it. You have to bite it off. That's how poorly these things were designed. I, how did it get invented in the first place? I don't even know. Like you think about it logically, hundreds of years ago, people got, you know, cold. Probably the first thing they did before mittens was just put like socks on their arms, right? And you couldn't grab anything. You could just hug it and be like, let's go, come on. And then some guy showed up one day, uh, Philip Mitten. And uh, <laughs> I always think they name things after the person that met him. I don't know if that's true. But Philip Mitten shows up and everyone's wearing their socks and they're all like, hey, Phil, what's up, buddy? And Phil's like, hey, fellas, look at this. Boop. <laughs> and they're like, holy cow, what a great idea. And he's like, I know, now if you're cold, you can hitchhike home and uh, you can thumb wrestle to stay warm. And they're like, can you carry stuff? Not really, no. And everyone thought it was a great idea except one guy, Thomas Glove. <laughs> Thomas Glove was like, hey, how'd you think of boop? But you didn't think of ding. <laughs> this didn't come to mind after you started. This was a good start, and then you went nowhere with it. You, di you didn't think to do this next, Phil. You didn't, this didn't, come on. This is one fifth of a good idea. <laughs> you need to go further. <laughs> and no one looks tough in a mitten, no one. Think of the toughest guy you know. Think you know what I mean? Like a biker, a hell's angel guy. You know, you're scared, you're intimidated. You put him in mittens, you're like, no. Oh. Now he's kind of cute. Now he's cute. <laughs> you ever see people driving in mittens? Everyone looks like a little animal. They're like... <laughs> Someone cuts him off. <laughs> he just... Did he just give me the mitten? No. Look at him, the sock. I'll get back there. 